Hello again, it's Dr. Zombie here with another episode of Advanced Minecraft and uh, I'll tell you right now I'm a little pissed off because I just recorded a good 10 minute video on how to start up your own server and uh, Cam Studio just wasn't able to finish recording, it just decided to crash. Uh, I'm also a little pissed off because I was going to show you exactly where you download the server software but because Minecraft has been so bombarded lately by people trying to log in, it hits the authentication server I can't even get to the website anymore. So, uh, that's two strikes against this video already, and I haven't even started. So, uh, without further ado, I think I will explain at least how to set up your server. Uh, first, you go to Minecraft.net, which won't load, um, but if it ever did load, you could go and click the download link uh, under the uh, software uh, section on the side, and from there, you can actually click um, a little link uh, at the bottom there that says Minecraft server. There'll be a little header that says download the Minecraft beta server software and it's minecraftserver.exe. When you download that you can put it in any folder. <coughs> I recommend you not put it on your desktop because when you run it it creates a whole slew of files and folders. Um, so make sure you put it in its own folder somewhere uh, and you can create a link to your desktop if you really want to. Uh, to start it from the desktop, but I find that if you're running a server for any extended period of time, it doesn't matter where you start it from, it'll just stay there. Anyway, minecraftserver.exe, uh, you start it up and it'll produce a window kind of like this, it'll give you a little uh, stat bar of, and a player list and a little uh, text console thing there. <laughs> you see this is how much of Minecraft uh, website it got, but you can see down here the uh, play Minecraft beta download link is where you'd want to click. Anyway, <clears throat> and that's really basically it. Um, once this is up and running, it'll give you a little, you know, uh, a little uh, text dump about creating the world and whatnot. And unless you get some kind of error there, it's up and running fine. And you can connect to your IP address. You can find your IP address by any of a million websites uh, that tell you what your IP is. Just Google what's my IP and you'll find it. Um, and uh, then it's up and running. Now, I know a lot of you have asked uh, both about setting up a server, but also about server mods and how to install those. And the one that I'm using is Kmod, which is a repaired version of Hmod, which is kind of defunct right now. Um, when the beta 1.2 release came out, Hmod just stopped working. Um, and somebody took it upon themselves to fix it, and they renamed it Kmod, and it's uh, got some bugs, but it is running pretty well now. Um, and it's got a lot of features that I like and I think you guys will like uh, in your server too. Uh, my favorite of course is warp points which allows you to set and remove a warp point and then warp to that point from anywhere else. See this is the kind of timing out issue that everyone is seeing because Minecraft server is so slammed with people trying to be authenticated. It just takes five or six times to log into a server. Anyway, um, when you run Kmod, well, when you download Kmod, if you if you go into Google and type Kmod space Minecraft, you'll get a couple sites. Uh, if you just do your research, do a little looking around, you'll find the right one. Um, here, I'll show you Kmod Minecraft. <coughs> this is the one I use here. Uh, Hmod build 134. It's actually a link to a Reddit um, where people were trying to find Hmod, uh, and that link will take you here, and you can click on this little. Uh, Kmod section here to go to the forum uh, dedicated to it and then you can see where the newest release is. Right now it's 0 .9, 0 .1. Um and if you click that you can get your download link and it'll download kmod.jar. Now once you've downloaded kmod.jar if you haven't already done so you're gonna have to set up Java so that you can compile and run Java programs from anywhere and I really can't help you on this there is plenty of information on it in the HMOD and probably KMOD wikis uh, and forums on how to set up Java so that you can run it uh, in a specific folder or how you can get it to, you know, to compile this thing. Um, if you can't figure it out, look it up on Google. I can't remember how I did it, um, but you have to, you know, set some various uh, variables in your uh, your system so that it recognizes the command Java. Um, <coughs> also, of course, you'll have to download and install Java. Most people have already done that, but you might have to do that as well if this is your first time uh, messing with this type of thing. Once you've got Java running, 
and you've got your Minecraft server up and running and you're not getting any problems with people connecting, um, which by the way, if you are having problems with people connecting, find out what kind of error message they're getting, you know, have a friend try to log in or try to log in yourself using a different machine uh, and write down the problem and Google it. You know, there's plenty of plenty of people playing Minecraft who have the same exact problems as you do. Chances are your router isn't configured to forward the right port to your machine and with a little more searching you can do that. If all of this sounds like too much trouble to get your Minecraft server to work, then believe me, you don't want to have a Minecraft server. It's a lot of trouble just to maintain the damn thing uh, and run it constantly. If you're willing to put in the effort to go and figure out how to configure your Java and configure your router, then you know your work will pay off. <coughs> so, a little bit about Kmod. Once you've got this kmod.jar downloaded, you double you, you've run your Minecraft server to make sure everything's running. You run Kmod, it'll install a bunch of different files, and it'll be running just like this. It'll, it'll look exactly the same. In fact, this is my Kmod server. So, um, <coughs> sorry about the coughing. I've, I'm still recovering from an awful infection or something. Um, it'll create a bunch of files that are not core to Minecraft server. Kits is one. Um, you can use kits.txt to create a kit that people can summon by, you know, typing kit starter, for example, is the one I have. Uh, I only have one kit because I think only one is really necessary, but people might find a good use of this. Like, perhaps you want a kit that gives you a bow and 64 arrows or something. Um, so people type kit starter and it'll give them each of the items listed here. These numbers, of course, correspond to things like a stone pick, stone shovel, stone axe, and some uh, cooked meat. Um, and you can create a bunch of kits, and you can allow specific groups not to have them or to have them. <coughs> and I'll explain groups right, right now. Groups are set up like this. Um, the Kmod includes a couple of default ones, and you can add your own. This one here I added myself just for trusted users. Um, and I also modified some of the um, abilities that certain other users have uh, in the server. But what essentially what it is, is you can assign an entire group of people, or a group in this case, um, different abilities, and then you can set them in their user zone to be part of a group. So I can give all people who I call VIPs the ability to set and remove warps, uh, as well as have their own special text color. So uh, here's the groups thing. You can go ahead and configure this uh, according to this um, template up here and then of course users is required and then you basically assign users into certain um, uh, groups that way they get all the, uh, the things and of course you know you assign yourself to admin or whatnot and you can also uh, do some other things there allow them to give out items or disallow the items etc all of this is explained in each text file so you shouldn't have too much trouble if you were able to get your java and your router to forward this this step should be pretty simple um, <coughs> creates a warps file. This, as I mentioned before, uh, allows people to warp to a specific point somewhere on the server, um, and it'll save it all to this place. If you do save, uh, set warp and then name the warp, it'll give it a name, and it'll save the geographic coordinates in XYZ. Um, your list of your ops, and it'll change your server properties file. Now, the Minecraft server properties file doesn't have anywhere near this many things, um, but Kmod will add them, uh, the ones that Minecraft doesn't come with. Um, specifically, message of the day, MOTD, that one is going to be good use for you, so you can put something in there like, hey, everybody, you know, watch out for so-and-so, he's stealing your things, or, you know, use this command, it's new. Stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> again, my voice is just leaving me. Um... You know, Hell World, if you set this to true, it'll spawn ghasts and pigmen in your main uh, map. It doesn't allow you to travel to the nether. That is a common misconception. Um, that doesn't work yet. Uh, and that's Minecraft's thing, not Kmod. Kmod does have a couple bugs you should be aware of before you download it. You can find those uh, easily on the website when you go to download it. Um, mostly right now, mobs, uh, both animals and monsters, are not spawning correctly. So it's kind of easy, but you can't get milk or eggs. So that's essentially 
uh, it for KMOD. Uh, it's really not that complicated and it allows you to do a bunch of things. Uh, you can get plugins for it, although I haven't used those yet and I really don't know much about them. Um, supposedly you can add plugins onto KMOD that allow you to do even more stuff. Uh, customize your, your server. So that's it. If you have been interested in running a server, but you didn't know how, hopefully I've helped you out a little bit. I'm afraid I can't help you guys with the biggest problems that people run into, which is networking issues and getting Java set up. Both of those, there are help online, but I can't, I simply don't have enough time to explain it all. Uh, plus, I can't address every person's individual problem. But, you know, I can say that the answers are out there. Just make sure you use Google correctly and you'll find out what you're looking for. Uh, don't post on the video saying, hey, I can't figure out this error because I guarantee, one, I can't answer it, and two, the answer's already out there somewhere else. This is what I'm talking about. You just can't play Minecraft anymore. It's too popular. Their servers are getting hit too hard. Um, but eventually, after five or six tries, you will get into your server, or even your single player. I mean, you can play offline, but... You know, think times is hard with this many users. Uh, hey, if you've got something that you want to see me do or uh, see me expand upon in Minecraft, go ahead and ask. I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in the new 1.2 beta uh, stuff, and I'll be honest, I haven't really gotten to much of it myself. I have seen a squid. I've killed one. I've got an ink sack. I have dyed some sheep and stolen their colored wool but I haven't found any lapis of my own yet. I've been too busy with the server and being sick and working and having a baby and all of that stuff. And apparently I can't get online anyway. So uh, again, leave your comments. <coughs> if you've got questions or want to see something in the game, let me know what it is and I will try to uh, help you guys out. Once again, this is Dr. Zombie with Advanced Minecraft. Be healthy. Being sick sucks.